What is up everybody, it's Peace. I welcome to another video. So today I will be going over my ban list predictions. The ban list is set to drop at any moment now, uh, effective no sooner than January 17th, which is today, the day I'm recording and posting this video. Uh, so I'm gonna start off with a few things that I think are not going to happen that I've seen requested um, or have been requested in the past. I do not think that they're going to touch Imperial Order. I don't think they're going to touch Mystic Mine. I don't think they're going to touch Fusion Destiny or Verte or Dragoon. Now that that's out of the way, um, the uh, top meta contenders are obviously uh, the Tengi version of Sword Soul and also the Tri Brigade Lyralesque deck or the Bird Up or uh, I don't know what it goes by now. So to address a few of those things, the band section will uh, have some... Uh, uh, something to say about those decks. So Protos, uh, that will be banned. Konami does not like uh, Floodgate-esque effects. It's why um, the Calamities was banned. Uh, the Rank 9 uh, Xyz monster uh, that was plaguing the format, it just uh, led to uh, just uncompetitive play. So that is a, a direct hit to the side deck um, and some of the main decks of the Sword Soul Tengi strategy. Um, another thing that's going to get hit is the um, the Harpy's Feather Storm. Uh, so that is a hit to, to the side uh, slash main deck of the Tri Brigade Lyrilus strategy. Uh, once again, it is because it is um, a Floodgate esque effect that um, just isn't uh, very good for the game. It, it's essentially like Calamities, where it turns off your opponent's turn uh, and essentially is an easily accessible Floodgate. Um, that you can't really out other than the one copy of Red Reboot that we have um, that you're just not going to draw anyway. Uh, also for the band, a couple of other things that they're going to hit are Celestial. Uh, so like I said, they're not hitting the, um, the, uh, the Fusion Destiny engine. Uh, DPE is way too new. Um, but one of the older cards that they can hit is Celestial. Uh, what their logic is going to be for this hit is that... Um, it is too new to actually uh, hit the engine, like hit the any uh, the, the fusion destiny, because then uh, people will want to to play uh, the DPE engine uh, less. I don't think that's true, but I think that that's going to be their logic. They will hit celestial though, because that prevents uh, your random fusion destiny activation or your verte activation from not only netting you a boss monster that recurs itself, uh, reduces your opponent's attack power. Um, destroy something every single turn, but also gives you a pot of greed on top of that. So th that's why I think that the Celestial uh, will, will be the, um, the hit for that engine. I'm not saying that's correct. Uh, this is just my prediction of what Konami will do. They're just interested in profits, and, that, and that's it. Not the health of the game at all, so don't ever get it twisted. Uh, another thing that I think they're going to address this list uh, in the banned section is Artifact Scythe. Um, so, like I said with the other stuff, essentially they're just going to be hitting a bunch of Floodgate-esque effects so that you can actually, you know, play your game. It was cute while it lasted, unfortunately. They've made their money off of uh, Forbidden Droplets and stuff, so now they can start addressing some of the things that will maybe make it less uh, prominent for you to need to main uh, Forbidden Droplets. Uh, next up for the limits. So, uh, I think they're not going to stop there with the hits to the top two decks. I think they're also going to go after uh, Tenyi, or um, yes, uh, Tenyi Ashuna or uh, Monk of the Tenyi, either one. And I think they're going to limit either one of those to one. So most of the lists do play either uh, two or three Monk, um, and it, it allows them to, to get um, a lot of recursion. Uh, the thing about the Tenyi package um, is that they're, they have this Link 1 that can just put an, uh, a normal monster on field. And you know what Konami thinks of Link 1s. Uh, they are either limited or banned. <laughs> so uh, I think Monk has a target on its head. Um, if not Monk, then Ashina, the one that special summons one from a deck and locks you into Worms from the rest of the turn, uh, that is a great way that Sword Soul Tengi can actually set up plays and actually... Um, move themselves uh, forward uh, significantly before even their normal summon. Um, I've seen uh, Monk of the Ten Yi with uh, like Baxia or or uh, Shijiao before their normal summon. 
Uh, so I think either Monk or Ashuna to one uh, as another consistency sit, hit on top of Protos being banned um, will will be uh, the, the hit towards the Sword Soul deck. Now, going on to the uh, Tri Brigade Liralusk, I don't think they're done with it just for, with Harpy's Featherstorm. They're going to reduce consistency um, either by limiting Fractal or they're going to limit Recital Starling. I'm I'm leaning more towards Recital Starling. They already put Tanky to one. Um, Tri Brigade is a relatively new deck, but they did already reprint the uh, Tri Brigade monsters in the Megatons, so there's a target on their head already. Um, so I'm thinking either or, or possibly both. Uh, what Recital Starling will do um, to reduce the consistency of the deck is that they can no longer start with the Lyralusk side of the package, um, make the first Recital Starling, search, uh, use Swallow to summon two more bodies, make the second Recital Starling, search again, uh, and then overlay for the Draco Future uh, F-Zero uh, shenanigans, which uh, allows them to negate Nibiru. So unless your opponent has Nibiru Gamma or Nibiru Imperm or Nibiru Valor or whatever, um, you're you're not going to be able to... One hand trap is not enough. Um, and I don't think Konami likes that. So I think either Recital Starling um, is most likely going to be limited or um, just to like just uh, reduce the ceiling of the deck or Fractal will be limited or, or possibly both. Uh, those are all for the limits and the uh, uh, the the bands that I think are going to happen. Now the semi list list, um, I think they're going to go after uh, another one of the uh, the the tier two contenders uh, that also abuses um, floodgates and um, uh, destroyer phoenix enforcer. Uh, the uh, invoked dogmatica should all deck. So I think that they're going to be touching uh, Nadir servant and meltdown to two. Just to reduce consistency. I don't think they're going to go after the, the floodgate that is uh, Shadal uh, Schism and, and Winda yet. I think that they're going to let that go around for one more list. But I think they're going to test the waters by reducing the ceiling of that. Uh, by reducing your copies of Nadir Servant to, to two and your Meltdown to two, it is going to be slightly less consistent. I don't think it's going to really hurt the deck that much. I think it's going to be one of the best decks in this next format. But uh, that just feels like a Konami hit that they'll do. Uh, so that's kind of unfortunate for us. Like I said, this is not what I want. This is what I think will happen. And it's really unfortunate. I'm not going to be happy with this list, probably. Uh, next is the honorary um, taking from one to two. I think this could be one of three cards. Uh, Gen X Ally Birdman, Sekka's Light, or Dynamite Knight, the true Draco fighter. So why I think that these three cards are the next possible contender for Konami to quarantine and put into two and uh, and then eventually go to three when they inevitably do nothing is just that. Those cards aren't doing anything. Gen X Ally Birdman, you can return a monster on the field to your hand as cost um, and special summon it. This was part of a loop a long, long time ago with uh, a Kawaki Meru card. It was like a three-card combo to do like infinite damage and you needed to play all monsters in your deck or something like that. It, it, it's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's not viable. There's no combos that I can think of with this. Uh, show me in the comment section why I'm wrong. Uh, but if there is an infinite loop, then they probably won't be going after Gen X Ally Birdman to go to two. Um, I don't even know why it's at one when you everything in this game is so easily searchable now with all the cards that they provided, like Omni Dragon Brotar, back when we had LP, of course, um, and now the brand new Small World. You can search essentially anything in your deck. So, I mean, that card at one doesn't really make any sense to me, but uh, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, the, the second card, Sekka's Light, that makes it such that your deck needs to completely revolve around that. I don't know why they ever put it to to two when we have Mystic Mind in the format existing. Um, Mystic Mind makes Sekka's Light so much worse, and I feel like this is the list where they'll either realize uh, that and try and quarantine it at two, or uh, or or um, or possibly uh, skip over that and go to Dynamite, the True Draco fighter. Uh, they gave uh, True Draco their trap card back, um, and I think uh, Dynamite is the next step. Um, Masterpiece is never coming back, and uh, Dragonic Diagram is currently at one. Um, I think they want to give the, the, the monkey decks a, a little bit of a boost, 
So I think that is an option for them to bring that back to two in the quarantine zone uh, before eventually bringing it back to three. Because honestly, in this format right now, it's not much of a problem. There's a lot of inherent outs to, to back row decks um, and floodgate-esque decks like that. Um, then four uh, to three. This is not really uh, that alarming, um, but I'm pretty sure that Skull Crobat Joker will go to three. Uh, I think they're going to go ahead and put e to three, which is kind of sketchy. Um, it's not a once per turn. I know the card's banished at the end phase, but it's a quick play, um, and it gets any Psychic Monster level three or lower out of your deck, which is kind of scary. Um, but I, I think that they're going to do it. I don't think they're pushing anything with it. Um, but I think that's what's in store for us. It might be able to help PK set up because you get another level three extender, um, virtual world, uh, virtual world loses to itself already. So, uh, I think that'll be a cute little, uh, extension for them. They might not even play three, honestly. Um, I think that Itali was just in that quarantine zone at two with Skull Crobat Joker, and I think it'll go ahead and move on to three. Same logic with Sal Salaman Great Mirage Dalio. I think that's also going to three because it'll do absolutely nothing. Who's going to play two Mirage Dalio? Maybe some lists, but now there's so many more extra deck monsters that you can play. Uh, I think it will diversify the extra deck, um, or well, it won't affect the diversity of the extra deck because now we have Access Code Talker and all those other shenanigans, uh, the Cyber Slink monsters that you want to play in that deck. And um, it is doing absolutely nothing. I don't think they're ready to get Circle or Salamangrate um, um, Gazelle off the list uh, in terms of the limited copies. But I think that uh, Mirage Stalio is pretty safe to, to, bring, to bring out. Um, another thing that I want to mention now that I went over, uh, my prediction is, uh, not this list, but I think in the following list, Engage will come back to two. And that is because we are getting Sky Striker support. Um, I think they will also, in tandem with that, instead of touching Kagari like they did last time, you're already going to have to, uh, remove some of your extra deck to put in, uh, uh, any new Link monsters that they might put in. But uh, the main deck is getting that Kaiju-esque monster and also the, uh, the the spell card that can special summon from your extra deck. I think that they're going to ban Hornet Drones. But that's not for this list. That is for the, the following list once we have or, or preparing to get the Sky Striker cards uh, for the Sky Striker strategy. Uh, another thing to note is Phantom Knights. So I did mention that the, the E-Tally might be a slight boost. I don't think they're going to boost it in any other capacity for now, uh, possibly the dangers in lists to come, and that is because of the Brave Engine. I don't remember what it's called in the TCG, uh, but um, it's called the Brave Engine, I believe, in um, the OCG, uh, and it essentially uh, gives Phantom Knights a way to put an Omni Negate on top of their board of uh, all the other shenanigans. Now that we won't have access to the Scythe package anymore, uh, it'll be a little bit more fair. So you'll have DPE and an Omni Negate and maybe a Fog Blade or whatever, whatever they end on. Um, so yeah, that's my prediction list. Um, Protos, Scythe, Celestial, and Harpy's Featherstorm Band. Those are the most oppressive uh, things in the game right now. Uh, Frac uh, according to Konami, according to Konami, uh, Fractal Reci or Recital Starling as a limited hit to the Tri-Brigade Lyralusk strategy and uh, Tenyi Ashuna or Monk of the Tenyi as uh, the limit to uh, uh, tackle the Tenyi Sword Soul strategy. For uh, to two, Nadir Servant and Meltdown. I think they probably should hit um, the uh, the Invoke strategy a little bit more, but unfortunately that's what we're going to get. And either Gen X Ally Birdman, Sekka's Light, or Dynamite uh, the True Draco Fighter to two. And then finally to three, Skull Corbat Choker, Itali and Salamine Great Barash Dalio. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed my ban list prediction. Uh, I'd like to see if I'm right uh, sometime soon when they release the list finally. Uh, who knows, uh, at any second they could drop it right now. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section, and we'll talk to you guys in the next one. Subscribe for more videos. Bye-bye.